Well, it's another foggy morning, but it is the first Lambertville. It's a Saturday. So it's kind of interesting to see if uh, anybody will be here. There's probably uh, 30 or 40 vendors. But we'll go see if uh, there's anything for us to get. They tend to have older stuff at this market, so hopefully we find a good antique. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. How much is a uh, little toolbox? Three dollars. I think I'll get that. What do you get on the sewing machine? That. I looked it up. I know what it's worth. So I, I don't I have a price on it. Uh. Yeah, it's in the little. Oh, room. oh, okay. Twenty dollars. That's not bad. Okay. What, 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 what were they I've selling seen, for? I've seen it for eighty. But you've got to find somebody mm -hmm. that's going to buy it for you. So I just want to move it, and it works. The knife's a dollar. Yeah. I got that. So four. What do you get on the tape a, measure? A dollar. All right. So I'm at five. Here's another one. Oh. It's a cute little one. You just have to ask me because. Is that all? All the knives you have? Yeah, that's all the knives. That's, okay. That's for sure. If you like brass, this is really good brass. Well, I'm happy with my oh, my little pile that I picked so far. I can tell what kind of person you are. <laughs> well, you don't have any costume jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I guess VHS. All right, I owe you $6. I, I appreciate it. Tony, Tony, huh? What do you get on the jeans, by the way? Uh, let me have three dollars a piece. What would you want on all of them? I have a friend that does crafts with them. Really? Well, one, two, three, five, six. Three, eight, two, 15. All right, fifteen. Thank you. Yeah, he makes a. Uh, he dolls them up. They actually look pretty good. This one's a short one though. Man. That's for a midget. <laughs> right? It's got to be. Uh, I'm just going to take the two for six. Thank you, though. Okay. Those short ones threw me off. <laughs> that one's a pretty cool, cool cane. You're into knives? Well, I just happened to find them at the last. But yeah, I'll be happy to look. An army knife. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. There's a bunch of guys who will. Uh, trying to think if he's right over here. I don't see him right this second. All right, $36. What do you get on the little box? $10. Hey, Tony. The salt and pepper? Ten dollars on that too. Eh, I think I'll just get the box. Okay. It's got a lot of fun stuff. Do you want a box for that? Uh, sure. Thank you. Yeah, I have a 10, so 
That will get you the change. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. I'm just looking to see if you had anything else I needed. Kind of cool. Wine. I really like this thing, though. I'm going to see what he wants on that. It's a frog light. I can't believe I found it. All right. I ended up getting the frog light for $10. I just never seen one. It was kind of fun for uh, for frogs. See, uh, there's some people set up on that side. And it's starting to be a bunch of people. What do you get on the cord? Three bucks. Two. It's for dog food. As you want it for two, I'll give it to two. Yeah, I'll take it for two bucks. Could always use an extra cord for two. What do you get on the small spoons? The silver ones? I uh, take them all. Another three, five for everything. Alright, sounds good. What's that? It's pretty good for five bucks. The caribou for 90. That would. You don't have a piece of paper I can wrap it with, do you? What do you get on this guy? On that? 45? Hmm. You didn't look, have you looked this up yet? Like, what do they go for, do you know? They go for anywhere. I mean, I haven't really done a, a ton of research on it, but I know that they're, they go for anything, anywhere from 70 to 150, at least. Mm -hmm. I think you know that. No, I, I wasn't 100% sure. I, I, I saw the wax seal, that's why I was wondering. It's very old, I can yeah, say that. Yeah, no, it looks like it's 1700. What do you get on the prints? Good morning. Oh, I like that coarse copper thing. Yeah. What do you get on the? Just uh, lay your pictures on here. You can't have nothing in front of the table. What do you get on the cross? Who said that? Mitch. Mitch. Those are tight against the. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. What do you get on the cross? Me coming around looking real. Okay, it's mother of pearl on it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very nice. I'll tell you and what, it's all inlaid. I'll tell you what, give me, uh, are you interested in the um, that too? Nah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm okay on that. Give me, I'm, give I'm me thinking. Four. Give me four. It's mother of pearl inlay. It's a yep, nice Yep, it's very, very nice. Make me an offer. It's not, not it's that. It's more, I just don't know if I need it. Okay. I appreciate it. No problem. You take care. I haven't looked at it, who it is yet. Is it signed by someone? I like the cookie jar. Dude, I love like this cookie. It's definitely fun. Nobody even mentions it. I love the paper. Who doesn't like a big piece of wood? Wow. I have, I have a lot of lucite. I've never seen one like this. Some man was just very interested in it. He has a collection from his mom. In Four Seasons is what caught his eye. Ah, uh, okay. I, I see it. Uh, for some reason, I th they look like roots. Like the tree roots oh, yeah. grew through, but I, I, I see the, the birds building a nest. Very cool. What is your deal? And the leaves falling. How? How much on this? I I think I have to get it. It'll go with. Uh, I'm putting together a little lucite collection. So. This means that he had a collection from his mom. Yeah, I've never seen one either. Never know what you're gonna get at Lamberville. No. All right.
Well, let's see if there's anything under the pavilion. Definitely, uh... Definitely a bunch of stuff. Really nice paisley there. What do you get on the Persian mirror? It's really cool. Yeah, definitely. What do you get on the Paisley? Very nice. That's kind of cool. He's got some old tools. Real nice, easily hardware. What do you get on the Bex? What? The door plates. Uh, 20 for two. What's that? For you, 17. Oh, really nice. Yeah, have you ever seen. You got two Transformers? What do you get on them? 15 for both. Ever seen what? Yeah. Oh, it has a ladder in it? No, I don't know if I've seen that one. That's kind of different. This thing's pretty cool. Threaded. And it's got a hole here. I'm pretty sure it's for uh, the way it raises. I'm pretty sure you can, when you're working on jewelry, to get it closer or further away. Definitely neat. I guess this is like a little anvil. get that. It's a roof cleat? Okay. It looked like a, a flag holder almost, but I could see it as a, to break up the ice, right? So the ice is getting ahead. Yeah. yeah. He said 10 on this. I'm going to get that. Bump, bump. This would have been a cool set. But not all here. So this turns into a ladder, you said? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, there was one like that. One, two. How many rungs, though? It's three rung? Yeah, man. This guy, this guy did a good invention on this thing. I can't believe it. If this pops up here. All right. And there's a. And it'll fold down into a ladder? Oh, you gotta pull this thing. See this thing here? Yeah, there's a ladder. Oh, I kind of see it. It's like a little library ladder. Yeah. Like a step stool. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 
I don't know if I've seen that one before. No, I haven't seen that one either. It's a good idea. There's a lot one in that one. Well, thanks for this thing. After I got out of there, the sun came out. I don't know. I was happy with what we found today. For Saturday, it's not a bad crowd. I'll be set up here tomorrow, so hopefully, uh, hopefully make some money. It's still early. It's only about 7 right now. So, we'll see, uh, see how we do tomorrow. Thank you. Well, made it back home. I figured I'd show you what happened with the garden this week. We did uh, put up some netting for the cut flowers. Um, the cosmos are just starting to get ready over here. Um, the peas, they actually started to form little peas. Uh, this was actually pretty interesting. Over here, I got a bunch of zucchini, um, but they're just starting, like here's a patty pan, just starting to get uh, little zucchinis. Here's a, a few baby zucchinis. You know those fry up really nice. Um, made a little uh, teepee over here for uh, the pole beans. Figured, uh, left some grass in here, be a cute little place for the kids to hide. This one, it's starting to take off. Um, the tomatoes have gotten huge. Got a couple of little grape tomatoes on that. Definitely, uh, they definitely look good. The broccoli, we cut most of it, and we're starting to get little second shoots. I have one more large head that's uh looking good um the carrots i've been thinning them definitely uh definitely are starting to get big uh there's some nice sized carrots in there now uh what else this is the pepper bed one more flower bed and then we made our last bed that we're going to stick uh sunflowers in um, so that cut that out the other day. Definitely a lot of, a lot of work on, uh, on making flower beds and all the dahlias have started to come up. So they actually look really, uh, really nice. The other day I bought, uh, always have to pull weeds. The other day I bought, uh, peonies. So I think I'm going to make, a. Uh, Plant some peonies before it gets too hot today. I'm gonna probably go right along the back of the house. And I have, uh, these were all the tomatoes we transplanted up. I'm gonna, we're gonna try these at the flea market tomorrow. All right, I'll show you guys what I picked up at the market. Definitely a, definitely a nice morning though. So, at the warehouse, I figured I'd show you guys what we got. Um, did buy that jewelry vise for ten bucks. Uh, this really nice uh, bolo tie uh, with turquoise for ten dollars. Sterling. I did like this uh, early uh, southwestern uh, rodeo buckle. I gave him ten dollars. It had one of the two rhinestones, I can easily put another red rhinestone in that. It just had that nice texture and seemed to be fairly old. Um, I was very happy about this vintage light bulb of the frog. I got that for 10 off of one of my friends. Um, he sold me, I think it was the charger and two of these are sterling. These two are sterling. Um, the spoons for five dollars. I bought this nice uh, vintage lacquer box for uh, for ten. 
a little uh, sterling silver golf trophy. I honestly don't know what it's worth. Probably, uh, probably sixty or seventy bucks. I think I got that for thirty. I really like this uh, Art Nouveau uh, vase with the cherries. It's got a got a signature. I can't quite make it out. It looks like Royal something, but it looks like Austria. It says eight five zero seven Roman numeral three. With a gold five I don't, I don't know it's just uh has a nice look for 15 bucks i was pretty happy with that this uh brass figure i just thought it was interesting i was i thought this was uh fairly interesting i like that it had the the seal it's a probably napoleonic uh but i don't know the paper looks right. It's got a little watermark there. So I would say it's probably like 1809, somewhere in there. Uh, pretty cool. My favorite thing I got, oh, actually I forgot about this. This was, like I thought the morning was kind of slow and then I found this, the two knives for a dollar, the toolbox for three, got a nice little tape measure. Uh, the toolbox is really cute. I think I, I can sell that easy for $20. Um, it's nice nice and tinny. Uh, the two canes I got for $3 each. I thought that was a not a bad buy. I, I'll probably give these to my buddy who uh, he makes a really interesting art project with those. And my favorite thing was the Lucite tree. I just think it's... I got it backwards. I just think it's really cool. I like how it's all hand carved. So, I don't know. Definitely was a fun day at the flea market. Let's see. Mr. or was that Me Joy, Pennsylvania? I don't know. PA. It's just just cool. So, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, I'm gonna get out to the flea market tomorrow. And uh, I know I'm going to set up after I go to Columbus. So it should be a, a good day. See everybody uh, next video. Peace. If you haven't yet, please give somebody a call. And please be safe out there. Yeah, definitely my number one pick. And this knife says it's got a little bottle opener. It's pretty fun. Definitely a, definitely a fun 50s. And the, oh, this one's a cap lifter. So, but I missed that before.